Well, we initially, when we initially started brainstorming for the concept, it was uh, where you would see the subject through that surface would be um, would be in a f in a state of change. So whether that would be that the ice was clearing or the frost was clearing or it was it was different than the surrounding area, so that you would get that sense of change happening within that small limited space. Hi, my name is Marcy Andrews. I'm the Senior Graphic Designer with Marketing Communications at the University of Alberta. Uh, I'm John Eulen. What am I? I'm photographer at uh, Marketing Communications at the University of Alberta. Pretty quickly we decided we needed to figure out what kinds of props we needed. We needed was, it, was it going to be a window? Was it going to be a piece of ice? Was, what kind of ice would we need? Marcy was resourceful enough to be able to go out and find somebody that could provide us with a proper ice not surface, whatever, just a, a, some sort of something that we could shoot through. And a lot of it was, you know, do we need a stand? How big are the blocks? How thick uh, is the ice going to be? Are we going to be able to see through it? Um, there was a lot of unknowns going into the shoot that, frankly, there was just no way to know until it actually came down to the day. It worked out perfectly in the end. It's just that we had no idea going into it. So, you know, it's, it's rejuvenating to not know, but at the same time, it's a little bit unnerving. Uh, we brought out a heat gun to just um, try to smooth down. Didn't really know how much there was going to be for um, particles or bubbles or um, items that would get in the way of the actual shoot. Um, else we had some water out there just to pour over to try to get to build up texture on the ice threw some snow on it to try to get some texture, melted that a little bit. So a lot of the texture that you see in the bottom left of that opening spread is was built up on top of the ice. And it was just snowing lightly. And they would land on the back and they were just crystal clear. But um, once we got into it, you know, trying to burn a hole in effect into the ice to be able to, to see her better, um, it, was, it was only kind of after the fact that we realized, oh yeah, that's going to create a convex or a <laughs> concave yeah. surface, which yeah. then acts as uh, a distorting element. So suddenly the face was, eyeballs were going in different directions. And so, yeah, it was probably in the end, it didn't require a lot of manipulation of the ice at all. Yeah, we have a few actual comical ones of her that she wants to have for her own personal collection. <laughs> so <laughs> they were pretty fun. Yeah, she was very yeah. easy going. It was uh, it was easy working with her. Mm. Couldn't have asked pleasure. for a better subject. <laughs>